Abby Stevens and I am one of the transfer coordinators here in our undergraduate admissions office at University of Vermont. We get a ton of questions around the transfer application process, so we're going to try to answer a few of the most frequently asked questions um, in this video here today. All right, so to apply as a transfer student to UVM, the application process is pretty simple, but there's a few required documents you will need um, and we don't want you to forget. So first, to fill out the application, you'll need to navigate to either the Common Application for Transfer or the Coalition application, either works, and both can be found right on our website, uvm.edu. Then after filling out one of the applications and submitting that, there's three more things we need from you. First would be your official high school transcripts. Second would be official college transcripts from any college you've previously attended. And third would be, uh, it's actually optional, but it would be um, a letter of recommendation if you do choose to submit one. As a transfer student, we do not need your ACT or SAT test scores. So it's just those three pieces. Um, and then your application will be complete and ready for review. What does rolling admissions mean for your admissions decision timeline is a great question. Well, rolling admissions means once we have all of your documentation and your application, um, it takes about two weeks for our admissions committee to get an admissions decision back to you. You can check the status of your application and the materials you, you've submitted on your applicant status login page. It's a great place to frequently check and see the status. It's also where you'll receive your admissions decision. So make sure you're able to log on to that uh, within 48 hours after submitting your initial application. Transferring credit at UVM is easy. In order to be eligible for transfer credit, courses must meet three requirements. First, courses must be taken at an accredited degree-granting institution of higher education, such as a college or university. Second, courses must be taken in disciplines that are offered at UVM, such as history, biology, or math. And third, you need to earn a grade of C or higher. Any courses taken for pass-fail or audit are not eligible for transfer credit at UVM. If these three requirements have been met, then you are eligible for transfer credit at UVM. We encourage all of our transfer applicants to attend an information session through our admissions office. It's a great way to hear what you can expect as a student from the UVM community, academic programs, clubs, etc. It's also great to hear from our advocates who are our student tour guides on campus, many of whom are transfer students. Um, so you can sort of hear firsthand about their transfer process and what you can expect transferring into the UVM community. Once you have been admitted into a degree program, you will receive an official transfer credit evaluation in three to five business days. An academic advisor will work with you to determine how your transfer credit can be applied towards your UVM degree requirements, as well as which courses you will take at UVM in order to complete your degree. All transfer students are automatically considered for merit-based aid at the time of your admissions decision, so that's something you'll see in your admissions letter. We encourage all of our students to file their FAFSA federal aid form, um, and then you'll be able to see your full scholarship package on your, uh, through your applicant status login page. If you're looking for a job on campus to supplement costs, we highly recommend you reach out to our on-campus job department because there are plenty of campus jobs as well. UVM has some requirements around transfer student housing that are really aimed to help you become part of your new community right away. For new transfer students under the age of 20, you are required to live on campus and um, will be guaranteed housing in one of our resident learning communities. If you're over the age of 20 at the time of transfer, um, then you are not required to live on campus, but if you'd like to opt in to on-campus housing, it's something that our ResLife team works hard to secure those on-campus options for you. There's also a wonderful Office of Student Community Relations where new transfer students can connect with current um, UVM students who live uh, off campus and with possible rooms for rent or um, openings that you can opt into rent.